You hear these falsetto harmonies in the background, like like those ooze harmonies in the background. That's. Who put in time? Who got the drive? Who got the lines? Who got the swab? Who won the job? All of the time now. Who? Who got the juice? Who got the juice? Huh? I got the juice. Who got the juice? Who got the juice? Huh? You got the juice. What's going on everybody? My name is Joey Nato and I am a hip hop artist slash music producer and welcome to another episode of Music Producer Reacts. <laughs> Alright, check it out. Gabby Hanna, aka The Gabby Show, has put out Butterflies, which is her new song. And she's got a video for it and everything, and it's yellow. Look how yellow it is! Now, as far as singing from her goes, the last time I heard her, she was working with Tristan, the vocal coach, and it seemed like they got some really cool work done together, some pro some real progress done. Um, she seemed to learn a lot from him. And I always thought she had, like, crazy potential with her voice if she used it correctly. But nevertheless, we're gonna be looking at this song mainly from a music production perspective. That's what I like to focus on is the music production elements of the song. Hopefully you're okay with that. The song you heard in the beginning of this video was my own song. There's a link in the description below for it. Thank you to everybody who checks it out. And if you're on Instagram or Twitter, please give me a follow at LuckyBoyNato. Ha, <laughs> that kind of rhymed. Come through the DM, say what up. I'll try to say what up back. And uh, yeah. All right. So without further ado, we're going to listen to Gabby Hanna's song, Butterflies. Let's get into it. I knew who you were from the start. I just hoped you'd prove me wrong. I could spend all year just letting down my guard while you're stringing me along. Keep it up a shot, but we... Whoa, okay, great control over that high register voice there. I, I mean, I don't want to get too much into the vocals, but that really caught me off guard. That was, she sounds like a Disney princess right now. <laughs> like, that's crazy. All right, shots to you. Hold on. So as far as the instrumental goes, um, before these little chimey sounds came in, and I'll explain what those chimey sounds are. We have like these plucks going, and the plucks have a little bit of a delay on them uh, to make them sound a little more interesting. They're not like dun, dun, dun. They're Dun, dun, dun. A little less exaggerated on the delay. Delay, echo, kind of the same effect, sort of, not really. Anyways, um, let me play this back really quick. I could spend all year just letting down my guard while you're stringing me along. Yeah, it's some kind of synth. The and they're panning. And they're just nice pianos. The velocity is going up on the piano, so they started off really soft sounding. That's why I couldn't make out the texture of the instrument. Um, but then the velocity increased on the piano notes, so you start to hear it more clearly when that happens. Just picking you apart, but instead I'll write a song. It'll go. Ooh. Ooh. I love that build up there, that tease. It's like a tease build up. That was a nice harmony there. The kiss your smile. That, that, that was nice. And then uh, they have like these vocal effects that have, oops, sorry, Mike. They have all these vocal effects that have the uh, reverb on there. And it's like, whoo, which leads me to believe that it's going to build up at some point. But we'll see. This is, I I'm impressed. I'm really impressed so far. I hope that build up starts happening again because I really wasn't able to, I, I don't know. I would have to hear it again, but let's keep going. There you go. So it has a kick. Some soft strings and 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 this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt, this is gonna hurt. Give it all we can, it'll never work. This is gonna hurt, this is gonna hurt. Where a butterflies I'll break your heart, your heart. Told me you'd never been in love. Thought that I could be the exception. Yo, Gabby, I think you found your sound, yo. This is, this is crazy. I know that, I think she really likes those rock songs where she could like sing out a little bit more and be a little bit more aggressive with her vocals. And that's why, you know, the electric guitar came in there with like the acoustic drums, the smacking, but it wasn't too much. It was like a tease. It's like nice, calm, quaint girl, but not really, but collected again. I, I like this. And now we have some legato strings just sweeping through the background. And what else is going on here? Oh, and there's like a 
really tight snare drum just hitting through. So the, the song just has a little bit more rhythm now. Hi hats. Instrumental is beautiful. Right back down. And I love that she's saying this is gonna hurt, and when she says that, that's when the aggressive part comes in. I'm gonna see she says it again. The drums are dope. You hear these falsetto harmonies in the background, like, ooh, like, like those oohs harmonies in the background. That's a... and, oh, okay. So I remember actually looking at who this was produced by. L Y R E. Lyri. I'm not sure how to say it. I don't know how to pronounce it, but whoever you are, exceptional, <laughs> exceptional work. Whoever did the vocal production for Gabby too. Great job on that, really bringing out good frequencies out of her voice, really bringing out the right tones out of her voice for this song. This song has evolution to it, it moves, it's not boring at all, it teases you, it has payoffs. This is, this is it, Chief! This is it, Chief! I'm gonna relax. Like the balloon popping sounds in the song too. Butterflies will break your heart. Butterfly, butterfly. And she has blood all over her. Okay, that's cool. Butterfly knew from the side. Why would I? Why would I? Why would I? So you hear just plucks in the piano chords. Just like the beginning. Maybe I maybe I like to hurt sometimes. That's it. Oh, I wanted that big chorus again at the end, but that's that's dope. The the song was teasing you a lot throughout it. So it doesn't surprise me that um it doesn't surprise me that she ended it on that note like a cliffhanger a little bit. Wow, that's that's Gabby Hanna's best song that I've heard. I mean, all of them are pretty catchy. They all have pop appeal, but this one has so much character to it, and I think it ties into her character a little bit too, you know, cuz she's not afraid to show her emotion um to her fans all the time and it kind of shows that like I, I don't i don't know something about this just just fits her so well the production like i said wasn't boring it starts with the plucks with the delays then the pianos and then there's some like teases at strings and then you got like this it sounded like weird like smacking percussion going on but i guess that was a balloon popping sound i could be wrong about that but that that was at least a visual in the video and then it builds up to this rock part but only for like two to four bars that's it I don't even remember exactly. I think it was like four bars or so. And then it's gone. Then it's back to soft with the falsetto singing and everything like that. This was this was great work. Let me know what you guys thought about this song. I really want to know. This is my first time ever reacting to Gabby, but it's not my first time listening to her. This ain't my first rodeo, partner. <laughs> Cringe. Thank you to anybody who decides to check out my music. There's a link in the description below for it. Like I said, if you're on Instagram or Twitter, give me a follow at LuckyBoyNado. And I don't really got much more to say other than that. And I don't have a cool outro line yet, so I'll just say I appreciate you guys. Nado. Juice, I got the juice.